Hey friends, welcome back to Mimi's Mix Bag. Haven't done a craft in a few weeks and this has been on my to-do list. Um, I was inspired again by my Mae Made It. She did something real similar a couple weeks ago where she embossed something. I don't even remember what it was, but she did do hot glue on something embossing and that kind of sparked my interest in wanting to try something. So I found this picture frame at the thrift store. Um, it has a little open space in it and so I wanted to try to do a little glue embossing on that. I went ahead and cut out a vinyl, vinyl stencil and so we're going to see how that works. This is just some old Cricut vinyl I had that's not worth even keeping but it's only good for a stencil if you can get it to work for that. And I have the fill-in parts of the letters over here on the side. Um, this is just a stamp set from Inka Dinka Do. Real similar to what May May used, but uh, I'm going to maybe put a few swirls in there, some ink, and I, and when I get completely done by tomorrow, these are the colors I'm going to try to paint it. I'm going to uh, paint the base color yellow. Uh, my chairs in my living room are yellow. My couch is kind of a rust color, and then I'm going to go over it with maybe a little accent tan color. But uh, what I'm going to do my embossing with is the Aline's Tacky Glue. It's, it's the thickest glue I have. It's thicker than Mod Podge. I mean, I guess you could use Mod Podge, but this Aline's, it pretty much stays where you put it. So I'm going to try it with that. So anyway, those are the supplies we need. And so the first thing I need to do is do a base coat of the picture frame in yellow. Okay, total plan B. I, just, I had to redo my stencil because that Cricut vinyl is nothing but garbage. And so I went ahead and cut out a stencil with uh, the Oracle 351. And so it stuck much better. Got all my little inner parts of my letters in there. And so now it's nice and secure. And what I did is I took the, and I guess you could use Elmer glue, but I want to use a little bit thicker glue. Um, and this Aline's Tacky Glue is. And so I just took the lid the top the the more pointy top because my Aline's is not as fine and I wanted it more of a fine tip and so what I'm going to do now is just very carefully fill in the stencil I just carefully pulled the stencil up. So now I'm going to wait just a couple more minutes and then I'm going to start pulling some of the inside spots out of the letters. Got my little letter bits out and I think it's going to be fine. I'll be honest with you, it was not an easy task. I made this hard on myself by choosing to do a cursive words and I should have just done like a fleur-de-lis or maybe just some initials or monogram or something but at least I know it can be done depending on the font you use and if you've got a thick enough font um, it would be easier. Now what I need to do is let this dry. It is slowly drying and it will be embossed enough where it's going to show up and so now I'm going to take my ink pad and stamp a few swirls around the frame and trace the swirls with glue. This is giving me a pattern of where I want to put my glue. And so now this is the easy part. All I'm doing is tracing those lines and that will give me some more embossing like my letters did. Okay, I have my stamped flourishes covered with glue. It's not perfect, but I still got to paint it and it will get, take on a whole different look once it's all painted and finished up. It is now four o'clock in the afternoon and I'll have to pick back up on this project in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day for me and everything is completely dry. I thought maybe the black would not show up near as much, but I guess the tacky glue does dry clear. So what I really need to do now is paint it yellow one more time. In a few hours, that'll be dry enough and then I'll put my brownish color over it. But I think it's gonna turn out really pretty Everything dried just where it needed to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a yellow coat. And when that's dried, I'll put my brownish on top. It has got the second coat of yellow on there and it really helped kind of cover up the black ink since the glue dried so clear. Now um, I've got my little brown paint ready and I've just got a brush and it's just totally dry. And so what I'm gonna do is just dip it in the paint put it on a paper towel, and I mean really, I'm taking off as much as I put on. What I'm gonna do is just pick up the frame, and I am, this is very, very dry. And what it does is it actually picks up 
those embossed parts and kind of accents them. So there's no streaks of paint. It's just really supposed to be picking up the, the embossed part. The whole trick is to get off a lot of the paint you put on. And it kind of tones down this yellow. That yellow is pretty mustardy. <laughs> but my chairs in my living room are awfully mustardy as well. And the thing is, I can always add more. You just can't really take off. I would rather add more as I need it to tone down that yellow. My mother actually taught me this technique. I've told you before, she was an artist and could paint beautifully. I, however, can't draw a two stick people. But I think that's where I get my love of creativity. And like I said, it may not even turn out like I want it, but it's fun. And that way, I only have a couple dollars invested in it. So if it doesn't turn out exactly how I want it to be, I can throw it away. <laughs> that's the way I. That's the way I think about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep brushing this brown paint on there till I get as much as I want, and then I'm going to put another little color color over it lighter. I think. Okay, I have played around with the brown and the white paint with wiping off and rubbing on and wiping off. And then I also just went ahead and I had some gold pigment ink pad and I just kind of went over it lightly with that just to kind of give it a finishing touch. Now I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to go set it in my living room and show you what it looks like. So I'll be back in a little bit. to show. Okay friends, this is my finished picture frame. It started out mustard yellow and it come out with just kind of a muted yellow chalky finish that's exactly what i was looking for i'm really pleased with the way my our greatest blessings turned out however i did make it harder on myself and next time i won't do anything that intricate definitely one of a kind it will match my couch and chairs and those are my beautiful grandchildren i can look at so thanks so much for watching y'all bye bye